I think we're living in times of unprecedented change. Economic integration versus nationalism is going to be the big driver. A lot of things that change the world is really not being predicted before. We need to invest in infrastructure 60 billion annually. If we have a better understanding of each other's culture, that will accelerate connectivity and the integration. There's a need for us to cooperate, collaborate, so that we can all prosper. Migration is not a problem to be solved. It is a reality to be managed. The whole energy of the youth is about disruption now. But again, the question is whether we have enough talent to be promoted into a regional level. It's about educating, it's about empowering, it's about employment. In this day and age, innovation needs to be a core competency that every country has, no matter what stage of development they are in. The forum can leverage its knowledge networks and its relationships to address global challenges with immense commitment. We are now becoming a single economic community. How do we build trust? Open government partnership is a crucial step towards greater transparency, towards fighting corruption. One of the biggest contributors to economic integration in ASEAN is the spread of regional production networks and global supply chains. The more we enable women to make the decisions about how their house is built, the more opportunities we have to prioritize the safety of their building, especially after an earthquake. If you want to really move as an ASEAN, the regulations will have to be at ASEAN level and not at country level. That will allow small medium businesses to really play at the global level. I think the Asian economies can leapfrog, put smart grid, put smart technology in order to integrate more renewables into their infrastructure development. Grow Asia can help improve the capacity of our farmers, access to market and share best practice with other countries. I was inspired by the Meet the Leader sessions when I got the chance to meet Tony Fernandez from AirAsia. Providing air connectivity and rail connectivity and road connectivity allows a small medium enterprise to venture out of his home market and grow his business into a larger operation. For the emerging middle class consumer, this means higher income and stronger purchasing power. We have to reinvent our economies. Change can be painful but there can be no progress without change.